Florida is a lush landscape with deep forests and many types of wetlands. This state is home to a lot of wildlife, including some of the most iconic snake species of the USA. The general snake diversity is high, with over 40 native species. If we were to be asked to pick one of them to be our main target for a herping trip, the choice would be obvious. For a long time, we wanted to find and film the largest rattlesnake in the world, the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. In 2022, we finally embarked on a long journey from our home in Central Europe to the southeastern part of the USA. Our first destination was not Florida, but Atlanta, Georgia, because that's where our good friend David Wojnowski lives. He was an important part of our team helping us greatly to make this amazing adventure happen. Join us on a trail of a snake. We are packing our things and we are ready to go to Florida. Are you ready, David? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> we will get ready. Soon. <laughs> we are getting ready. This one's too long this way. It's too long. Yeah, it's causing. Okay. It's causing serious troubles. We are slowly reaching the area where we will be herping today. It will be mostly road cruising. Uh, the habitat looks perfect. Uh, it's on both sides of the road and uh, the weather is also good. It doesn't look like it's gonna rain too much. Maybe there can be some showers, right? Yeah. But uh, the weather should be good for road cruising. So uh, we will find a campsite and then we will start looking for snakes. So David has a very stylish tent <laughs> with an umbrella. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> It is always so exciting to explore a new area. The cool thing is that any snake we find here 
will be a lifer. What is it? What is it? What is it? Where is it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow. <gasps> Am I right? Yes, it's a huge pygmy rattlesnake. It's ginormous. It's, it's ginormous, yeah. exactly. It doesn't look like uh, something pygmy. Okay. Oh, it's moving the tail. Yeah, but it's, it's moving the tail. And I don't see the rattle. There is no rattle. There is no rattle. He's got one little button. Oh! <laughs> you don't want to lose it. Okay, let's let's beg it. Okay. We're begging the piggy with the cattle fish. Uh -huh. It's cooperating nicely. It's quite a beautiful specimen. It is. It's huge and for it's, a pygmy. It's large for a pygmy, yeah. It's really big. It's big. <laughs> it's a giant pygmy rails. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, second lifer. And this snake was running out of the road actually, it was not staying there. We almost lost it. So super happy to, yeah. to be able to catch it. And it's interesting how the color changes. The tail is almost black. And it's not doing the opening of the mouth. Yeah. I thought all of them do that. Um, in the in the oh wow well, oh, this now. is it in the day maybe it will be yeah. better we need to film this tomorrow this is awesome wow typical behavior of the species I always wanted to film this so the name cotton mouth you know it refers to the coloration of the mouth inside and the snake is just opening it and it's saying please don't come closer because I'm venomous and I will bite you. <laughs> So, okay. Here we have another cotton mouth, a beautiful juvenile, really <laughs> beautiful coloration and amazing yellow tail. That's wow, the tail is really awesome. super perfect and it's, super awesome. it's trying to rattle. Yeah, yeah, it's shaking, shaking the tail a little bit. Oh, opening, oh, opening the mouth, up. shaking the tail. Wow, that's so cool. It's really beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it's raining a bit, but uh -huh. snakes are still Snakes active. are still moving. Wow. It's awesome. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wow. Oh wow! Okay, we are sure it's not. A we coral are snake. super sure this is not a coral wow. snake. Wow! Okay, but I'm just. <laughs> I wouldn't touch it. If I know, I, was not I know, sure, I you know. know. What do you think, David? This is fantastic! <laughs> <laughs> wow, man! Oh, cool. Awesome! <laughs> oh wow! Scarlet king snake. Yes. <laughs> How big they can get? Uh, not much bigger, right? I, mean, I think it's a big individual, it's right? It's a nice size. Yeah, I think so. They can get it's like another quite you know, big six inches, but that's a good size. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is a really great find. Mm -hmm. This is an interesting pattern aberration yeah. here, the, right here. The stripe is not the stripe oh, is not complete. Is complete. Yeah, uh -huh. isn't that cool? Yeah, that's cool. That's awesome. So it makes this snake uh, unique. There's something in there. It's still raining, but something is there. It's a pygmy rattlesnake, I think. I think Isn't so. it? I think so. No, it's uh, sure. cotton mouth. Cotton mouth again, but cotton nicely cotton colored. Cotton mouth, juvenile. Another cotton mouth. Yeah, it's the same as the other one. It's the same one. Yeah. yeah, we will let him go. Or just remove well, him. Awesome. Oh, yeah. So, you can continue 
continue, continue. Okay. Yes. Great. And it's in the grass safely. Perfect. Bye bye. It's raining a lot. <laughs> it's raining a lot. Let's continue. <laughs> Okay, the weather has changed completely and there's quite a strong storm oh, outside yeah. uh -huh. right now. Mm. Okay, yeah, this is the yeah, fourth cotton mouth That's of the, the night? Fourth one, yeah, it's I think. fourth. Fourth yeah. cotton mouth of the night. Third baby? Yeah, yeah third baby. Beautiful. The fourth one. There we go. Really beautiful. beautiful. Yes. Cool. Okay. Bye bye. Cotton mouth. Cotton mouth. Uh -huh. Yeah. Or tamak, so I can't tell. Yeah. This one's like uh, a little older. Yeah. A little bit older. Now he. But still a juvenile. Yeah. Oh, oh geez. Okay. Yum. Very fast. Is that a leaf on his back? Yeah, it's a leaf on his back. Yeah. And he says, "Leave me alone." Leave me alone. <laughs> yes. Okay, there was a snake on the road again. Oh, oh it's a dead oh, one. No. Red bellied water snake. Oh, oh the car. Oh, oh, it's a huge one. Oh, oh no. no. This is terrible. Oh, there was one car in oh, front of us. Car. Let's see. Another cotton oh, it's mouth. Eating. It's eating? It's eating. It's eating a frog. Oh, wow. It is. It's eating. It's almost finalizing it. Come quickly, 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 quickly. Super cool. Yeah, sometimes you have to start filming. <laughs> Just in the moment you see it. David has an idea to offer him another one, that one, maybe, should, should I, we try? Should I try or not? Okay. Yeah, just put it in front of him. Can I toss it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe he will smell it, let's see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's interested. Yeah. Uh-oh. You can imagine a snake that that eats, you know, three or four frogs a week. Mm -hmm. At it's least, a, you know, he's. It's a good good opportunity for him yeah. to eat a dead, dead but it's also, snake, dead frog. This is. I don't know how many people have actually documented snakes eating uh, dead frogs. I don't know. If you're wondering why but, David is in the dark. It's because I don't want to bother Matthias filming with another flashlight. Oh, now he he found out that we are here. Yes. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, this was amazing. Thank All you right. for amazing sighting. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Full belly. You can go to swim in Full the water. Full belly happy snake. Yeah. What is it? What is it? Oh, this is, this is the garter snake, snake uh -huh. with the with the stripe. It has a stripe. Oh, oh, oh! It's a oh. regular garter snake. Just grab him. Yeah. Yep. Garter? That's or a ribbon or, snake. Or adult ribbon snake. That's a ribbon. ribbon That's snake. adult ribbon snake. And yeah, this looks like an adult ribbon snake. Mm -hmm. Cool. Perfect. Nice. So good morning. It's a beautiful morning and look uh, what David prepared. It's absolutely amazing.
I will give <laughs> Ivana's egg. He prepared oh. some, some eggs and bread on this Ooh. magnificent my new little Coleman machine. stove. <laughs> this will be Suzanne. This is mine? This is awesome. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Set it there to keep warm. Mm -hmm. and the view is beautiful too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Wow. But it's still foggy. Mm -hmm. So this morning I'm focusing on cotton mouse. I'm filming the juveniles. Uh, we have two of them and one sub-adult, bigger individual. So, finally, we are successful with filming the defensive reaction of Cottonmouth. Opening the mouth, it's absolutely amazing. Really interesting behavior. We are trying road cruising during the day and it's worthy. <laughs> yeah, we saw this beautiful rough green snake. It's a nice, nice specimen, quite big one. I'm going from the Diurnal other side. Diurnal snake species. It's basking and it's like noon time right now. And David says they are very, very fast. Are we ready? He's not gonna move if he goes slow. Oh, higher up, the tails will break. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's good. Hello. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh-huh. Can be fast, yeah. And he's... That is he, nice was, he was basking for a long time. I would say he's very warm for mm -hmm. a snake. Does he look like he's full near the vent? A little bit. What? Because snakes, you know, after they eat, they like to bask so they can digest their food. Mm-hmm. He looks like he's in good health, Yeah, nicely fed, but uh, nothing really like nothing. recently, I would say, but he looks nicely fed. Yeah, yeah, that's very he's healthy very snake. healthy snake. There's no mites or ticks. No, or... no, no, beautifully colored, yeah, nice. beautiful uh, red uh, tongue, actually, uh -huh. reddish. Uh -huh. What a beautiful snake. It is. Oh, careful, quick, quick. careful. I don't. David, can you take this? Yes. And you both are on. Yes. Looks like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're good. Perfect. Wow, it's very strong. Okay. That's a good size one. That's a good size one, yes. This species is very small. We couldn't believe our eyes when we actually saw this individual on the road. It's really big. It's absolutely amazing to see how it's shaking the tail. It's a rattlesnake, but <laughs> this one almost doesn't have a rattle. I think there is only one button there. So no sound is produced. The snake is still shaking the tail. Some pygmy rattlesnakes have little bit bigger rattle but still small the pygmy rattlesnake usually grows to about 40 to 60 centimeters which is equivalent of 16 to 24 inches the species inhabits forests and floodplains and can often be found near water a bite from a pygmy rattlesnake is painful, but generally considered as non-life-threatening for humans. These venomous snakes can be quite defensive, but mostly rely on their camouflage when encountered. What a great snake for our first find on a herping trip to Florida. It's getting dark and I continue with filming another species we found. The beautiful scarlet king snake. This is a non venomous snake resembling the deadly venomous eastern coral snake. The usual size is from 40 to 50 centimeters or 14 to 20 inches. It's 
scarlet king snakes are nocturnal and secretive, so they are not commonly found. They search for their favorite prey, small lizards and snakes, under the bark of decaying pines and pine needles on the forest floor. The last snake I managed to film is the eastern ribbon snake. These are extremely slender, non-venomous snakes with large eyes. They are great swimmers and feed mostly on frogs and fish, so they prefer habitats with lots of water. Eastern ribbon snakes are typically active during the day, but when it is very hot, they can be out hunting after dark too, like this one was last night. Let's see if there are some snakes active tonight. It's time to hit the road. So, so far we found three dead snakes, one cottonmouth and two banded water snakes and all of these snakes are freshly killed the traffic is much higher tonight than yesterday and it was raining so the road is not so hot yeah oh finally a live snake first <laughs> tonight. Live snake of the night and what do you think it is cotton mouth Baby again cotton mouth that's nice still good to see yeah yeah Yeah, this is better. I guess at the beginning we will just try to operate around the snake hook. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the defensive mode. The snake is shaking its tail and hopefully it will also open the mouth for us. It's good that it's not doing it right now because I want to film it. Oh, it's quite powerful, I have to say. Yeah. Whew. Okay, <laughs> let's go film. Yeah, Susanna is gently handling the snake. It's uh, moving really nicely, smoothly now. It's calm mm -hmm. and we are getting okay. some movement footage. Uh, it starts to be a little bit hot and the sun is strong, so we are working in the shade. Usually snakes uh, want to go somewhere where they can hide. Uh, into denser vegetation so if you want to film movement it's good to uh, let the snake crawl naturally into hiding place but then you have to be quick and careful <laughs> to catch it again <laughs> yeah, so really this is a great example of how peaceful snakes are they really don't want to attack you or anything the snake is always just going to the denser vegetation where it will hide you see it's again turning the same way going there yeah just and trying to escape we can nicely film the movement get beautiful footage we were lucky to find several florida cottonmouths of different ages every snake has a different personality and this gave us a chance to film different types of behavior these venomous pit vipers try to avoid any conflict and usually open their mouths with a bright white interior when scared. They can also vibrate their tail and hiss. The species is capable of delivering a painful and potentially fatal bite. Cottonmouths are opportunistic hunters and will even eat carcasses as we saw the other night. They can be found anywhere in or near water bodies in Florida. We started to work early today and we will take pictures of several snakes and maybe if we have time Film some more footage. So for wide angle, mm -hmm. you need to go close to the snake. So the snake is like the main object of the photograph, and 
and you see the habitat around and so that's why it's very important to think about safety that's why we have, we have this plastic cover and it should be safe for Susanna we just spent some time with the big mural snake I managed to take a few pictures uh, the best one from my point of view is the one with wide angle but hopefully also some details will be nice and action so the snake is moving in an interesting way it's uh, shaking its head and the body and it's trying to simulate you know a movement of a branch in the wind or something like that so it's not easily visible for predators that it's you know a snake and snakes are prey for many animals so uh, this is really amazing to see the rough green snake is the only native bright green snake species in florida it is fast agile and at home both on the ground and in trees. It also swims well as it often lives close to water. Rough green snakes are active during the daytime and they have a good eyesight. Their diet consists mostly of invertebrates. Prey is not constricted but swallowed alive. These elegant non-venomous snakes sleep coiled in the branches of trees at night. We will move to a hotel for one night so we can dump footage and uh, yeah, clean ourselves a little bit. Because and you can't see it but it's really hot here, it's very humid. We are sweating a lot so it's good to have a shower. <laughs> Okay, ready to go. It was a good spot. Yes. I really liked it. So it's time to release all snakes uh, which we found and filmed. Some of them we just found and uh, didn't film because we had more than one individual per species. But in terms of uh, rough green snake, uh, we found only one individual, this beautiful one and we will release it here we are in the same spot where we found it so this is it's time to go back home <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay yeah so let's continue no quick <laughs> escape. No. I will just touch his tail a little bit so he goes more far from the road. It's not a busy road, but you know, we want to be as sure as possible that the snake will not stay here and be killed by some car. This is one of the snakes that we videoed, and this is the Scarlet King snake. And we're going to release him very close to where we found him. Here he goes. I'll just tickle his tail so he goes into the safety of the grass. Releasing the adult ribbon snake. So Ooh. fast. I'm going to release the beautifully colored baby cottonmouth or water moccasin. Uh, this species is very underappreciated and I really enjoyed working with several cottonmouths from babies to big adult. We called this one Bruce. He's very robust, big, powerful. So to us he looks like Bruce. And for an adult individual uh, he also has quite nice coloration. Many of them are very dark, almost black uh, in Florida. This guy is really beautiful. Okay, please 
Don't go to the road again because it's dangerous. And stay in the forest. Bye bye. It was awesome meeting you. Oh, and it's in the water there. I can still see him. Uh -huh. Wow, swimming nice. So, this is a sub adult cotton mouth. The first one we saw in our lives. When we saw it, we were super excited. At that point, we didn't know that we will actually see 12 individuals of this species. It's a beautiful snake. Let's release it to the water. Come to see. Come, come, come. Bye bye, thank you. Oh, it disappeared. Oh, here oh, it is. Oh, he's still here. Okay. So, <laughs> a giant pygmy rattlesnake. Really a big size, beautiful snake. Amazing. So, hopefully, he will be safe here. Bye bye. Go the dense of forest and careful oh. on the roads. There's some water here but he yeah. can swim definitely. Yes, he can cross it easily. Oh no. All snakes are released and we continue to another location. <laughs> we were not lucky enough to find the eastern diamondback rattlesnake yet, but there is still time. The next location has another important target species for us, the Eastern Copperhead. We are now in the second location. It's a beautiful area, a forest, and we are walking around to see which areas will be uh, interesting. The trail is disappearing slowly. The we walk through the vegetation. It was here just in the grass and went here. I here, saw here, 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 something is here. I saw just a tail. And it's like quite nice size. But I saw it's not just a, very a small, small tail. Maybe it's a lizard, I don't know. I think last time I saw it was here. Okay. Um, I'm not throw my boots on. Yeah, here it is, I see. Oh. It. Don't move, don't move. I will try to oh, yeah, it's oh, yeah. Right. Okay. Careful, but we have to move somewhere where not people are around. Okay. Nice to, nice way to find my first copperhead in my life, almost stepping on it, just casually walking on the grass. <laughs> mm -mm. But careful, it's still there. Yes. Okay. We found our target species even before going out, which is an um, awesome feeling. <laughs> and we deserve some um, dinner. Oh yeah, we worked hard and found the snake um, 10 meters from our campsite. We worked hard and we deserve this. <laughs> we worked really hard because we hiked for like two oh, yeah. hours and then came to the camp. That's true. You found something? He found a red-bellied snake. Oh, cool. Yeah, snake. that's so cool. Red-bellied snake. Wow, yeah. it's beautiful. Yeah, it's really pretty. Nice. It looks it's really beautiful. It's a little bit young, but they don't get very big. Okay, yeah. so this is like sub-adult? Yeah, sub-adult. Beautiful. Oh. Wow, that's awesome. Huh. Nice. It was just in the grass. Uh -huh. Cool. Uh, very good spotting. Oh, no, rough <laughs> earth. Rough earth Or snake. smooth earth. Smooth earth snake? Or rough earth, one okay. of the other. It Se looks like oh. second species. Very tiny one. Very oh. tiny one again. It looks like could be smooth earth snake. Smooth earth snake, okay. Yeah. The rough earth snakes scales are keeled a little more. Okay. But it's hard for me to know and I have we to look at check. the range. We will check but which yeah, species it is. Second species, because we've got yeah. 
You might have both here, rough okay. and smooth. The smooth earth snake is a tiny, non-venomous species. It grows to about 30 centimeters, which is almost 12 inches. This snake typically hides under dead wood or rocks. Even when active, it often stays buried in loose soil or slithers under leaf litter. The species can be found in a variety of forested habitats, often close to water. Smooth earth snakes feed primarily on earthworms, but will also take soft invertebrates. It was cool to find two tiny and secretive species in one night. The red belly snake grows to a similar length as the smooth earth snake. It is also non-venomous and prefers similar habitats. Its main prey are slugs and earthworms. Red belly snakes are mostly hidden during the day and become active at night. The background color of this species varies from gray to reddish brown. We released both snakes and went to get ready for filming the copperhead in the morning. It's early morning and we are working with this beautiful copperhead. It's the only individual which we found. It's a beautiful adult snake and it's quite active. Uh, we hope to film some natural slithering and uh, maybe later it will coil under some bush. We will see. These snakes are uh, quite well known for uh, their capacity to be very well camouflaged. We try to take wide angle photos and we want to show the habitat where snakes live. So what we do is that I'm the assistant, I'm holding the flash. Susanna has created this special device, <laughs> like a blockage, so um, the snake can't bite her because she needs to be very close with the uh, wide angle lens. The Eastern Copperhead is a very beautiful pit viper species. It is perfectly camouflaged in the forest floor leaf litter. A bite from the Eastern Copperhead can be very painful but rarely life threatening for a healthy adult person. We got very lucky during the filming session as this snake was extremely calm and comfortable with our presence. It found a nice place to coil up and after a while a skink came into the scene. To our amazement the copperhead attacked it and clearly injected venom into it. After a while, it started to eat the paralyzed prey in front of us. This is a nice example of how gently we work with snakes. It is always so precious to capture such an exciting, natural behavior. The swallowing was surprisingly fast. The snake used its flexible jaws to push the skink deeper into its throat. Adult eastern copperheads feed on various vertebrates, especially small mammals. Well, this one was happy to have a skink for a meal today. Everything was finished within two minutes. We still had time for herping, so we continued to search for the main target species of the trip in the afternoon. There's a big mural snake. Probably. Yeah, it is. It is? It is. Lovely. Hello. 
Oh. Yeah, look at him. And he's basking. He's like, Hello. you see it? Oh, wow. He has oh. beautiful red color. That's it. You see it? The buzz? Yeah, the bus? I heard it. Yeah. A little bit, slightly. Wow. Nice beautiful red individual. coloration. What There's a snake. a snake. There's a snake. There's a snake. Okay, let slowly, me, slowly, let me slowly, slowly get yeah. there. Okay, I'm gonna stop here. Yeah. Okay. Looks okay. like a Let's big me rattlesnake. I think it's a big me rattlesnake. Yes, another big me. Oh wow. Yeah, cool. It's a beautiful one. Beautiful. Check the color. It's basking on the road. You can yes, see how yes. it's flattened. The body is flattened. Amazing. Basking. This is a great time. For snake activity, 6 p.m. We already have plenty of footage. You can go. Oh, he's defensive. A little bit. Maybe just take him with the hook. Yeah. Uh -huh. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, he tried to bite me. Now really? Got some added. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, this road him. doesn't have a lot of traffic. I don't want him to leave it. Okay, bye Let's bye. Let's go. Cool. Yeah, go far away <laughs> from the road. Yeah. It's time to release a beautiful copperhead. We called her Olivia. She was very calm. It was really a pleasure to work with this snake. Just look how calm it is still. And it was basically 10 meters from our campsite, from our tent. Here she goes, back into the forest. This species is amazingly camouflaged in the leaf litter. It will soon disappear there. Time to move to another location. We will go more south to the coast of Florida and we will try to find our main target species for this trip which is the eastern diamondback rattlesnake. We are here in an yes. amazing we local, are in a local restaurant, restaurant we talking enjoyed about snakes. food but we can't show you. <laughs> we ate everything we already. already. Ate Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite good. We were not planning to, to film how we but eat. But the Philly cheesesteak is really good. Yeah. yeah. And we had like a productive talk about snakes here. Yeah. Yeah. Where are y'all from? Czech Republic. Yeah. Czech Republic. Yeah. Yes. That's on the so, other side yeah, of that other like country over the there. <laughs> videos about how we work and so on. So we were yeah. thinking if you could maybe tell us to the well, camera what you think about snakes. Well, it's well, next to Poland. Well, to Poland. See what if you feel comfortable about, about it. Honestly, I work in was, the shop. you guys have yeah. kind of like changed my uh -huh. mind about them in oh, some way. Just yeah. talking for a couple of minutes throughout the day. I mean, anyway, I'd be like, oh, I'm afraid of snakes, mm -hmm. but I've kind of like came to the part where it's like, okay, you know, snakes aren't mm -hmm. as bad speaking to you guys about them. And, you know, maybe if I see a snake, I'll keep my distance mm -hmm. instead of calling someone and saying, hey, kill this snake, I'm scared of it. Instead, I know to give it its space and, you know, let it roam where it wants to instead of just being afraid. And, you know, a good snake's a dead snake, and that's not always the saying now that I've spoke to you guys. Because I know there's people that actually care about them out there like you guys do. Just, and have you got some bad experience with snake? Um, I've had a snake bite my dog before and that was very rough and it definitely made me more afraid of them and definitely made my heart harden towards them but knowing that snakes from you guys' point of view that there are people that care about them and love them and love to study them and they're not all bad they're just scared as much as we are so yeah it definitely made me change talking to you guys about that just for maybe four or five minutes about them they're very interesting yeah that's very so nice thank you guys for thank sharing you so much. thank you thank you it was amazing yeah. to meet you yes. <laughs> thank you thanks what about you mister <laughs> what do you think about snakes? There's nothing wrong with a snake as long as he stays over there and I'm over here. <laughs> Perfect, it was amazing. And you? Me? I, I'm not afraid of snakes, but I just assume they stay away from me. <laughs> so, Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake is actually not very common in, in uh, its range. It's not really a snake which you would find easily. It's not even protected in Florida. And you can see a sign like this. So people actually buy rattlesnakes or their dead bodies usually from other people. 
and uh, they buy them because of their skin for shoes and other products so you can see signs like this which is it's quite crazy because uh, we think that the snake should be protected <laughs> some fun yeah it's a gate here that was good let's go yeah We are walking in the habitat and this is the first big reptile we can see. Gopher tortoise. Amazing, beautiful. Oh, I think they are used to people here because many people come to relax on the beach, even walk with their pets. So I think it is okay for us to come quite close and as you can see the tortoise is not even moving or trying to go anywhere so first snake of oh, the day black cool. racer perfect nice i just saw a tail sticking out of the bushes and the <laughs> snake didn't see me oh they're bite and uh it's a super fast snake so i was very lucky nice yes catching the snake otherwise would be very very difficult yeah mm -hmm. bite racer it's biting oh. get it got it yeah perfect awesome. beautiful snake well come oh it's, it's a, a real, big thing it's a Oh, it's a huge shed. Come here. Oh it almost feels like it's fresh. Wow. Check it. It's fresh. Really? Yeah, it's fresh. It's soft. Check it. It's still soft on the head. Maybe the yeah, snake is somewhere around. I know the humidity here is big, but still. still. That's a life specimen. And oh, there's a one tortoise in front of us. Oh, it's a big one. It's eating the grass. It's eating the grass? Yes. Check. It's enjoying oh, no. the sun. How is it possible? It's incredibly hot now. Yeah. They love it. How can they love it? <laughs> <laughs> There's still grass in his mouth. <laughs> Filming good footage of an eastern racer is not an easy task. These non-venomous diurnal snakes are extremely fast, highly active and very visual. The species has a vast range from Canada across the USA to Mexico, Guatemala and Belize. The color variation between different populations is quite high. The subspecies from Florida usually has black coloration and it is called the Southern Black Racer. Eastern racers in general live in many different habitats and are opportunistic hunters eating small vertebrates, eggs, and even soft invertebrates. Uh, we didn't want to uh, have the snake for a long time, so uh, we just filmed it in a shade under a palm tree. It was not the perfect spot for filming, but we tried to do our best. Uh, and we are going to release the snake in the same place where we found it. I found the snake uh, just at the edge of the vegetation, at the edge of these bushes, so I'll put it back to its home range and there it goes straight Ooh. into the 
shade. <laughs> and yeah. it's gone. Now it's midday, so it's really hot even for this snake. Um, so I guess it will hide uh, in the bushes and start to be active later, probably around 5 p.m. Then the temperature starts to go a little bit down, but it's still super, super hot. We are here in summer. It was probably not the best timing. We are struggling to find the Eastern Diamondback Rail Snake, but we still have maybe two days. We actively search for rattlesnakes since the early morning. Unfortunately, no rattlesnakes, but we did observe gopher tortoises feeding. It is cool to be on a place where you can look for snakes and also relax on the beach. So now when it's hot, we are just chilling and it's nice. And in the afternoon, we will start to be active again. <laughs> my little grippers. Um, they're like tongs. Tongs, but like not for snakes. For sausage and bacon and stuff. Tongs for sausage. Thing. That's one of the most wonderful sounds in the world. The sizzling of bacon. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Wow. You got a hook? I mean a yes. tong? Tong, tong, tong. Yes, my hook out my back. Okay, tongs yeah. first. Uh, tongs, tongs, you can you, give me the can hook. You put, uh, give the me the hook and take hey, out the tongs. Guys, guys. Uh, we can put the backpack in front of the bed. Yeah. Yes. Take out the backpack. We have to be wow. calm. <laughs> That's the thing. Okay, yeah. calm. <laughs> I fucking found one. Perfect, you're amazing. David, you are awesome. <laughs> Okay, so guys, first thing, take out the back. The backpack is here. But the thing is that it's not long enough. Slow, 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 slowly, 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 slowly. Ready. Ready. Striking, Ready. striking, striking. Careful, careful. I got it. I got it. Okay. I, I still don't have the tongue. I know. Careful, David. Careful, get him. David. Get him. Hook them away, hook them away. Hook them away, hook them away. No, no, no. Yeah. Tongue, tongue. Try to hold him by hand. Mm -hmm. yes, and I will make it. Okay, I got one. Cool. Let's take this, please. Take this, please. Is it on? Wait. Okay, I'm holding it. Get it ready. Wait. Get it ready. Yes. He's eating. Hook him, hook him, hook him. Hook him. Angry girl. Yes, got it. Awesome, baby. Can do this, do this. Yeah. No, no, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> okay. <Whoa. laughs> it's everything is here, David. Everything is here. <laughs> This is awesome. Okay, those are the moments. <laughs> Why are you? Yeah, it's it's worth it. It's just an amazing to work hard right. because the weather the changed. Moment. The weather changed, and we thought maybe it'll be out of the burrow. Yeah. I saw a fantastic burrow, uh -huh. and I walked and looked in really close, and I heard the buzz. That's amazing. He it made was a just, it just, I was looking yeah. here, and he was there. I heard the it buzz. from here. That, mm. yeah. And it, and you saw it just went out of the barrel. And and it was just yeah. next to the barrel. It's a nice size. And it was a good uh, idea to put the backpack inside the barrel. Burrow. Uh, yeah, that, that saved the day. Wow. The second the burrow. Good job. You good job. You yeah, found. cool. Amazing. Okay. Uh-oh. Lots of that is It strike directly. Uh-huh. He has attitude, yes. 
it's actually a little bit easier to film snakes which are defensive because they don't try to run away quickly, you know. So I have time to set up my camera. The snake is still on the same spot, which is nice. And if you keep your distance from the snake, nothing bad can happen to you. It's the largest trail snake in the world. It has quite long striking range. This is the position where it can really strike. So always good to keep your distance, respect the animal, and you will be just fine. Okay. I finally have an Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake in front of my camera. This is one of the heaviest venomous snake species and one of the largest vipers in the world. A bite from the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake is a serious medical emergency. However, striking is only used in defense as a last resort. Loud rattling is a clear warning that we should keep our distance. It is amazing to observe this species in its natural habitat. The Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake feeds mostly on rabbits, squirrels and other small mammals. It often hides in gopher tortoise burrows or palmetto thickets. We enjoyed working with this snake so much and we managed to get exciting footage and nice photos. What a beautiful day we had in Florida. So we're going to release the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake in the exact location where we found it. We decided to do it late so there wouldn't be any other people around. It'd be safer for the snake and for for the other tourists in the area. So here he comes. Yeah, we are just on the same spot in front of the burrow where he was. So let's see. If we can guide him there, go back home. He should recognize this area. Yes. Okay. Back home. This is it. And Let's everything go. is still. Yes. Still, you yeah. can hear it a little oh, bit. And he's gone. Uh huh. Nice. So <laughs> Susanna is preparing dinner in the bathroom. Yes, in the bathroom. That's uh, yeah. Very American style. <laughs> it's going to be some macaroni. Macaroni with cheese. Mm -hmm. Looking forward Perfecto. to it. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, we just arrived at Florida Gulf Coast University and we are going to meet with Matt Metcalf who is the head of uh, telemetry project of uh, Eastern Diamondback Rail Snakes 
Um, we met Matt uh, in Peru, so we already know him in person. And we are going to walk around and there should be Eastern Diamondback Rail Snakes uh, right uh, in this campus, which is uh, quite exciting. You want to see him? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We can hear him. He looks him. like yep. he's ready to <laughs> say good morning. Say good morning. Yeah, That's funny. yeah he's he's actually been really good. He uh, hasn't rattled too much. Really? Hey, buddy. Oh, it's very dark. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very dark coloration. This rattlesnake recently got a transmitter implanted into its body and Matt will release it back into its habitat. Beautiful. Yeah, the sky looks good. It'd be about one meter exactly. Yeah, I have the the data written down somewhere. I just don't uh -huh. have it with me right now. Alright, ready? Now we will track another snake from his study site. Where was it the last time you were here? Um, she was like right up that way. Mm -hmm. So not too far over, mm -hmm. but... And it, it was... A little bit more in the open area. And it was how many days ago? Two. Two, Two days, days ago? ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, we found her? Mm -hmm. Yep. She's kind of sleepy. She's going to yeah. be right here. Really? Okay, can we go? Yep, you can come up this way. Bit? You get a good look at her. She's not uh, not super visible, but. Oh, yeah. I oh. see the body right there. Right where shadow oh. was. Oh, yeah, I can see the body uh -huh. and the head. Pretty dark. You okay. See the head? Uh -huh. From here, you can see, I think it's the head. Oh, yeah. We started to head back north towards Atlanta, Georgia. The plan was to spend the night in a location where we can try to swim with wild manatees the next morning. As we arrived early, we could not resist to go for a short road cruise. We could not be more surprised by what we had found. Are you crazy guys? How's that, huh? This How is crazy, is it? it's a it's big bigger, one. I go for the triangle. Where's yes. the triangle thing? I don't know. Where's the backpack? I know where's the triangle. I don't know where's the backpack for a triangle. Which backpack? The back. For Which back? Which we can it, that put on the triangle. I don't know where it is. Okay. Um, wow. So, what are we going to do? I don't know. Let's this. Wow. Um, <laughs> there's one. Just right, like there's this. There's one right here. Yeah, we just went for a like small right road cruising in an area where we even didn't know what we are going to find or if there is even a road. We just were driving around and as you can see there are houses around. There's a house just like right here and you have a huge eastern diamondback rail snake just here. Can you watch them? I'll get my, my yeah. phone. And it's so calm. Or maybe do we have some a box? Maybe. Do we have big box? That's the easiest thing. You want me to go get it? Yes, please. Okay. Um, maybe not. He doesn't want to He's go. He's gone. No, he doesn't want to go there. Touch the, touch the tail? No, he doesn't want to go there. He's still losing. Let's see what he does. Oh, this is a completely different animal. It's super cold. Mm -hmm. I can tail it, no problem. Yeah, hold the head. Perfect. Slowly, slowly. Mm -hmm. Put it this way. The head is your side. Perfect. Great, great. Awesome. Good job, guys. And we have a huge yes, sir. 
just in Diamondback Girl. Hey, more practice. Oh, big one. <laughs> Y'all have to come over here, man. <laughs> they, don't, they, don't, they don't come over here because we got the animals. Right. Okay. Uh -huh. Holy hell. Jesus okay, we road. were That's just we were just talking. Uh-huh. Do y'all mind come over here? Yeah. Into the house? Show the kids. Yeah, yeah we can. All right, cool. Come on over. Okay, cool. Right. Yeah, we're uh, where was he right here? <laughs> it was right on the yeah, road. Yeah, right on the road. Yes. It was, on, it was ex David. David. Hey, Keith. Uh, Mate from Czech Republic. Mate. And, and, Keith. and Susanna. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Susanna. You. Keith was heading <laughs> to your guys. Yeah. Okay. Been working with you yeah. guys for a few years. Yeah. Okay. Come on over. Okay, cool. Come, come on over. If you can, do you have time? Of course. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Absolutely. Hello. Street girls. You just had a big snake coming into your property. It was on the road, so Ooh. we caught it, and we will film it because we actually came here from Europe to film snakes, and this was our main target species. Can you it's recognize the... what species is it? A rattlesnake. Yes, yes. it's a rattlesnake. Perfect. How do you know it that it's a rattlesnake? Because my dad told me he has one of those rattles in his stores inside. Yeah, mm -hmm. perfect, yes. perfect. You can see the rattle here. Mm -hmm. He can make sound with it yeah. to warn shot, you not to come close. And he shot two um, big rattlesnakes in there, and they were big fat ones. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> cool. Yeah, it's a beautiful snake. Look how it's tongue flicking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, can you see the tongue? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can put it more down what, so the. What do you guys smell with? You smell with your nose? Mm -hmm. What does he smell with? His tongue. Yeah. Oh. He uses yeah. tongue. That's why his tongue flicking. And then he puts the, the tongue inside his mouth and he has a special organ there and he analyzes the smell. So when he tongue flicks, he has, he's actually checking what's in front of him and he also finds prey with this. Do you know what do they eat? Rats? Yes, mm -hmm. rats. Cool, rats. Squirrels. Rabbits. I've got a bunch I, of rabbits. I'm gonna tell you the one I seen in my house. The one I seen the other day was about this. It was probably uh -huh. really? it was four to six foot. Yeah, they wow. can get very they can very be. fat. Like yeah. he, he wasn't scared of my big truck. Mm. Like that. He yeah. was all about yeah. attacking. Yeah. This guy is super calm. Yeah. He didn't, no, he didn't I'm surprised. Strike. That he didn't one, even rattle. I'm gonna tell you that that, that yeah. one I seen he, he yeah. tell you he's about to pop a tire on my truck. <laughs> <laughs> Water snake. Water snake? Yes. Oh! First alive water snake of this trip. Oh, and it's, oh, it's a disappearing. Baby. And it bit me. That's okay. He bit you. Ah, he bit me again. Oh, He's angry. No, it's not. It's not a baby cotton mouth, hopefully. It's a water snake. That's well, these great. gloves are good for little water they snakes. They are. Nice. They don't even hurt. Nice color. <laughs> great. Species number 12 on this Perfect. trip. Species number 12. I would like. Oh, okay. Yeah. Awesome. So it's early morning, 6 o'clock. And... We are heading to a special place to swim with manatees. Is it from the back? Swimsuit already. Uh -huh. Is it from the back? First time for everything. You're in for an experience. It's like stuffing yourself into a sausage casing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Not easy. Morning. How are we doing, guys? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Big scar. Yeah. Being in the water with a wild manatee was just spectacular. Mm -hmm. Observing the natural behavior of these gentle giants was even better. The average West Indian manatee measures around 3 meters, which is 11.5 feet. It can easily weigh 500 kilograms or about 1,100 pounds. Woo-hoo! <laughs> 
Absolutely stunning. Wow, wow, we saw four of them and they were eating and so close, it's amazing. Yeah, perfect. <sighs> wow, and just, just there. <laughs> we were busy during the last afternoon of our trip. I still wanted to get some footage of the gorgeous sudden water snake we found last night. It is a common non-venomous species typically confused with the Florida cottonmouth. These two species often live together in same habitats. Cottonmouths have vertical pupils, while water snakes have circular pupils. The main prey of the southern water snake are frogs and fish. We released the snake and were ready for the last filming session. It's time to take this beautiful Eastern Diamondback Rail Snake out. I'm really looking forward to see this amazing individual just slithering in the forest. And it's a very calm individual, so I'm expecting that we will have the chance to film some nice behavior, you can check how the snake looks. Let me see if I can. I can just do it like this, so I don't need to even touch it. You know, so the snake will still be very calm when it goes out. And you can see that the snake is not trying to bite me. It's very calm, you know, I just do slow movements. I think it even wants to stay in its yeah, it's going out. So, I can maybe help it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just slowly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yes. Wow, amazing. Amazing. Okay. Wow, this will be a nice shot. It's time to get some extra footage of the main target species of this trip. snake is still calm. It even showed us a little bit of rattling, which is nice because uh, this individual has much longer rattle than the previous one. Yeah, so, there, are, there are 12 uh, buttons. Yes. So I'm giving it to you. Yes, and I'm thank, you. To work. thank you. Thank you very much.
So the snake is slithering nicely. It's really quite predictable where it will move, which is good. So I'm trying to catch the, the movement with the drone. I either go down from up or the opposite way, or I follow the snake when it's moving with the drone. And it looks really, really amazing. It's a big snake. Big snakes are great for drone shots. We are ending this trip to Florida with an amazing moment releasing a big Eastern Diamondback rail snake. Such a beautiful snake. We found it basically very close to a house. So we moved a little bit, like 200 meters, and we are at the border of a wildlife management area. So we want to release the snake a little bit um, to a place where it hopefully won't encounter any people. You know, it's a big snake, deadly venomous, and it also needs big natural habitat. So we hope that it will be fine here. It's been a pleasure working with this snake. Yeah. A long night of driving was ahead of us as we needed to reach David's home in Georgia. We left the kingdom of the largest rattlesnake in the world behind us. Our cameras were full of amazing footage and photos. This content will be used to educate people around the world about snakes. But we did not only get new footage and photos, we also gained precious experiences while working with new snake species in a region we had never visited before. The journey was a real pleasure and full of fun, thanks to our friend David. Even though the itinerary was very busy, our budget a little bit tight and our comfort sometimes limited, it was definitely worth it. We are grateful for this opportunity and cannot wait for the next adventure on the trail of another snake. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell. Or if you want to support us more, you can even become a member of our YouTube channel. You can also buy our merchandise. Uh, link to our store is under the video in the description. Thank you.